everyone, I'm Goldie, youth coach. Uh, hola a todos, soy Goldie, coach de adolescentes y familias. Today I'll be speaking in English and I think uh, like most of us, uh, year ending, we're probably thinking about, you know, change, what's the new year going to bring for us. But, you know, to be honest, I think any time of the year, any day of the week is good to make any changes. The reason why we all speak about it a little bit more at the end of the year is just, you know, because it solidifies those intentions because as a collective, it's easier to believe in setting yourself those goals well then let's use that solidification that energy that you know as a, as a whole we have to um try and accomplish those uh, goals that you've set for yourself. I'm not going to talk about your resolutions today or how to get to them. I'm actually going to talk about something more useful, which are six energies that we should really be applying on a day-to-day -day that help us to be, you know, on track. And if you're on track, you're most and, and more likely to be accomplishing those resolutions that you've, uh, you know, set for yourself in your mind for 2018. So, Number one is actually organizational energy. Um, do you spend your, your every day uh, responding to emails and handling day-to-day -day stuff? Well, this is all very good. It's, it's common practice by most of us. But the truth is, we really ought to be uh, analyzing our time and seeing if we can give that half an hour to one hour a day, it be in the morning or in the evening, just to look at the bigger picture. So um, are you set to be learning something this year? If so, do you need to read in order, in order to get there? So then maybe use that half an hour a day to read 10 pages from a book that you think you will learn from or do you have a summer vacation that's you know been in your mind as a dream even though it's six or seven months away now is the time when you can spend 20 30 minutes just applying a little bit of uh, you know time on it so that's organizational energy number two is um environmental energy this is I'm talking about your environment how is your bedroom have you checked to see if you're feeling that it's um, giving you the emotions that you desire from it is it tidy are you able to let go of things that are in your wardrobe that you are no longer using um, how's your kitchen do you do you feel happy cooking there do you enjoy being at work so these are all spaces around us that really do emanate an energy that can either nourish us or you know um, leave us feeling a little bit um, sort of uh, desiring for more so you know check on that as well your your environmental energy uh, number three is actually your financial energy um, this is where you know I ask you do you know how much you're saving are you saving enough to what you want to save um, are you spending your money in a manner which is satisfying you are you up to date with your payments and of course um, you know, do you think that you could be uh, saving money where you're unnecessarily doing it on other things? For example, you know, eating out too much. So that's what I call financial. Um, number four is actually um, relational energy. Do you have time to give to those that matter to you the most? Are you spending time with them? Are you learning from them? Um, are you giving them what they deserve? And do you have any toxic relationships that you need to let go of? Because all these people that matter to us so much, we Need to analyze and see that we're giving and taking the same amount because that's where the energy is distributed in the right way okay so that was um, relational energy um, number five is uh, health well this is uh, sounds pretty obvious but I'm not saying you know are you feeling fit and, and healthy I'm actually asking you what you eat are you aware of what end result that's going to give to you so I'm asking you to be a little bit proactive you know this time of year um, we, we, we can indulge and we enjoy certain things but there has to be a balance I feel because that's where you are giving in to yourself something that may not be giving out the same things that you're expecting so do you need to improve on that check on your health energy and of course number six and final is our spiritual energy are you the designer of your life now by this I mean are you in control of what you want to be doing with what is actually happening for you so uh, a simple question would be do you have an internal conflict with the values that you have for certain things compared to the vision that you are uh, set on or headed towards in, in, in a project that you have in front of you you have to analyze where um, your your values and, and, your, and your peace of mind is that's what you call you know spiritual energy check on this and, and and see if there are any conflicts internal ones and that has to be something that has to be on check all the time because honestly speaking if you can't uh, keep a check on the, the spiritual then even the rest are more affected for me it's probably the most important so uh, that was that was the six energies I'm, I'm you know I, I spoke I take about. this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year 2018 
it's just around the corner. A uh, big year coming up for all of us, I hope. And um, a big thank you as well to everyone who's been listening to me, uh, who's contacted me, and to all my clients. Um, love you all, and I hope that the new year brings everything that you wish for. Bye-bye.